Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Quark mod in Minecraft 1.18.1. This mod has so many cool, amazing features. As you can see, here they are on Quark's website, which by the way you can get to by clicking on the download page, Quark website there. But I mean, look at this. Everything from automation and like chains connecting blocks together and like actually being able to move those blocks with those chains, which kind of makes sense, to you know different shoots, to dispenser placing blocks, to Ender Watcher. I mean, so much cool stuff here. And that's just automation. There's also building mods. There's also client mods. There's also management. This is all built into the Quark mod itself. I mean, it adds crabs to Minecraft and all these custom mobs like foxhounds and frogs and Sheba and all this cool stuff. Tortoises added to Minecraft. And it's all done with one mod. And what's cool about this is you can turn these on and off pretty easily. But overall, this is pretty awesome, and uh, I'm excited to get this mod installed today. First and foremost, though, we have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it just Apex so much that so we have our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Quark. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Quark download page. And once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that, you'll find Quark, and then that's the 1.18 version of it. Click on the orange download button to the right under the Minecraft 1.18 Quark version, and boom, the download will begin after a few seconds. Now, depending on your browser, you will need to keep or save this file. If you're on Google Chrome, that would be keep it in the bottom left. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, that would be save it in the center of your screen. I don't have to keep or save it, but you might, and it's 100% safe to do that. Quark has been downloaded over 70 million times. But we're not done. We still need to download the auto reg lib, which is the basically library required for Quark to work. To do that, you want to come over here to the right hand side. Again, same thing. Links in the description, by the way. Third link down below is going to take you here to the auto reg lib. Once you're here, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down into that Minecraft 1.18 section again. And then again, auto reg lib under that is 1.18. Go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. And you guessed it. Again, you'll need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Google Chrome on the bottom left, keep it, save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that's required to get Minecraft to work with Quark, so let's go ahead and get it. You can find this link in the description down below. It's going to be the fourth link down below, and once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you can see this green download Forge button. Now, this is our dedicated tutorial for Forge. We're going to go over the basics of it in this video, but if you do have any issues, the in-depth tutorial here will help you out. Now, let's once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download Forge button. It'll be taken to Forge's official download page. We want to make sure that Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected. As you can see, or right there it is. If it's not, go ahead and click on 1.18 on the left-hand side and select 1.18.1. We can then go ahead and click on the installer when you click on the installer, stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands up in the air. Don't click on anything. Don't click on a single button on this. What are you doing? I said don't click on anything. Just wait about 10 seconds, and in the top right, a red skip button will appear. The only thing you ever want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. That's it. When you click on the red skip button in the top right, in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. As you can see, Forge 1.18.1 right there in the bottom left. It is safe to keep that file on Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Just depends on whichever browser you have. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get the files we downloaded to our desktop. To do that, we want to go ahead and click on the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably the bottom of your screen or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this does work on Windows 11. Now let's go ahead and type in downloads. We have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here we'll find Forge, Auto Reg Lib, and Quark. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, if these icons look different than mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. If they're Internet Explorer files, anything other than Java files, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Just keep watching because there's three issues that are fixed with one basically solution. The first is your icons. If your icons are broken, it's going to be fixed with a solution. The second is if we right click on Forge and click on Open With and Java's not here at all, guess what? That's fixed with the same solution that fixes your icons. And guess what? If you have Java here and you click OK and it does anything other than open up the Watt System Installer, that is also fixed with this same solution. What is the solution? Well, it's downloading and installing Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18 plus mods, servers, anything involving Minecraft 1.18 outside of actually playing Minecraft requires Java 17 and that's going to fix your icons, that's going to fix your not having Java at all, or that's going to fix opening up Forge with Java and it not working. You can find this link in the description down below and it's a simple three-step tutorial going through how to download and install Java 17 for Minecraft. Now, for some of you, that is going to fix the problem entirely, but for a lot of you, you'll still need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together, basically, in harmony, right? So it's going to take those jar files, link them back to Java, and make them work correctly, and this is another three-step process. Finally, though, after you've done that, you can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, 
click on Java and click OK. So I'm going to open up the Mod System Installer for Forge where we want to click on Install Client and click OK. So I'm going to download, install, set up, do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.18.1 and then once it's complete it will say successfully install Client Profile for Forge. The only reason it would have failed at this point is because you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.1 before. Go play Minecraft 1.18.1, get it installed, just open it up to the main menu, vanilla, no mods, anything like that, come back and this will work. Finally we can go ahead and click OK and it will close out of the Mod System Installer. You can now delete Forge from your desktop, we don't need it anymore. But what we do need is Auto Reglib and Quark. Let's go ahead and get these installed. The first thing we want to do is open up the Minecraft Launcher, or right like so. And then once we're in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to make sure that we're selecting our Forge profile. So it's going to be the Forge installation that you just did. That's what we're going to want to play Minecraft with. Now, in some cases, you won't have a Forge profile. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's go ahead and select it. To do that, you want to come to this little arrow to the left of the play button. And then there it is, Forge, as you can see. And it says 1.18.1 dash Forge under it. That's awesome. Once you've got that, if you do have it, click play and click play again. But what if you don't have Forge in this list? Or what if you do have Forge and it doesn't say 1.18.1 dash Forge under it? Well, in that case, what we want to do is click on installations up here at the top of Minecraft. So when we click on installations, it's going to take us here where we want to make sure modded is checked kind of in the top right up here. As you can see, unchecked modded, Forge disappears. Check modded, there's Forge, click play, click play again. However, if you don't have Forge here, or again, that version isn't 1.18.1, what you need to do is click on new installation. Then we want to go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible Minecraft 1.18.1 server. Come play on it. You will absolutely love it. Survival, Skyblock, it's incredible. Over 150 players online every single day. Then we want to go ahead and click on the version drop down box, and we want to select release 1.18.1 Forge. If you have multiple ones of these, select the one with the highest number at the end. And as you can see, 44, much higher than 10, so we're going to go with the one at the top here. But select 1.18.1 Forge here. Once you've got that selected, you want to come under Resolution and select your resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing it because what you want to be able to see once we get in game. The most important part is making sure under version it says release 1.18.1 Forge. Finally, we can go ahead and click the green create button and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click the green play button again, and the hard part is over. The hardest part of Insaw and Cork or really any Minecraft mod is this. It's getting Forge set up. Once Forge is set up, it's super easy to install Quark and get Auto Reglib installed as well, which Auto Reglib is required for the Quark Quark mod to work. So yeah, nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and it will take a lot longer to open up modded Minecraft, by the way, than uh, unmodded Minecraft. So if it's just like that or turns white like it does right now or something like that, anything like that is completely normal. Just wait. Nevertheless, I'll see you after a quick jump cut on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. And once you're here, you will have a mods button. If you don't have a mods button, you didn't launch Minecraft with Forge, go back, do that. And you will have a mods button right here on your main menu. Click on that mods button. And then we want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. So on the mods tab, click on open mods folder in the bottom left, and it opens up the mods folder. Then we want to take auto reglib and quark and drag and drop them into the mods folder, right like so. Make sure auto reglib is in here. If it's not, it will not work. Even if you have quark, you need auto reglib. Finally, though, we can go ahead and close out of this. And we go back to Minecraft. They're not going to be here, and they're not going to be here until we quit the game. We need to quit Minecraft. Then we need to reopen up the Minecraft launcher. And this time, we want to make sure that we're launching up with either the Forge profile that was there by default or the Forge profile that we created. In our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure whatever is selected here does say 1.18.1 Forge under it. And if it does, go ahead and click the green play button. Confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. And now, Minecraft is going to open up with the Quark mod and Auto Reglib installed. Auto Lib, of course, being required for Quark. I know I keep repeating that, but it's it's, it's just that's why you need Auto Reds Lib is because Quark requires it. Nevertheless, though, it is going to take even longer to open up after you have mods installed than when you don't have any mods installed. So just keep that in mind. Mod in Minecraft takes forever to open. Always has been and always will be that way, most likely. I hope it won't always be that way, but I'm guessing it will always be that way. So nevertheless, we're just loading on in now. As you can see, loading into the main menu. I'll do a quick jump cut and I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the main menu. If we go ahead and click mods, we'll be able to see there is Quark and there is Auto Reg Lib. Now, one other thing that's interesting is we have this queue here. If we click on that, that is where you can turn off all the Quark modules and things like that. For example, if you don't want any automation mods, you can just turn it off. If you don't want any building mods, you can just turn it off. If you want to configure specific building mods or specific tools or anything like that, you can turn those off. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to configure all that. And one of the coolest things, honestly, about this. Now, Oddities is an extension for Quark that you can download. That is linked on the Quark download page. And you just drop it in the mods folder right alongside Quark and the Auto Reg Lib to activate that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and go into general settings. You can see all the different general settings that are here as well. Really cool stuff. I'm going to jump in game and I will show you some of the items and then we'll be good to go. So one of the things I do find interesting about Quark is that it doesn't necessarily have like a Quark extension where you can click and see all the quark items 
kind of unfortunate, but we can see some of the stuff here. For example, we have the Flamerang and all this stuff, as well as, you know, the seed pouches and all the different stuff that you can get as far as tools go. And then if you just kind of click around, you'll be able to see some other stuff that Quark has added in. I wish uh, there was an extension to be able to see like all of these in one go. I think that makes it a lot easier and a lot better, but overall, there's nothing much we can do. For example, we have the Netherbrick tra Trap Chest. We also have the Redstone Randomizer, the Ender Watcher, all of this crazy stuff. The Shoot, all of that is here and uh, can be, you know, added now and, and seen and used because of Quark. So pretty cool stuff. Like I said, though, I wish there was a way to be able to see all of this in like one go, but there's not. So as you can see, we do have these spawn eggs as well, and that would actually be kind of cool. Getting maybe some of these custom mobs if we can find them. So we got for Forgotten, we've got the Foxhound, we've got the Frog, all of these cool custom mobs that this adds in. But uh, yeah, that is the Quark mod. That's a frog. Kind of looks like a frog, I get it. That's a tortoise right there. There we go, as well as a fox hound. I think these are one of the coolest ones, like a fire hound, like that's awesome. And then we've got the Shiba as well, just a cute a little dog there. And uh, then let's see, we've got the Wraith, that's scary, and the Forgotten, which is scary as well. So nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. Enjoy the Quark mod. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.